Now I make things with my hands with old tools and I am known as a chair maker. Uh, I love making rocking chairs uh, but I have also enjoyed making anything that is traditional in the hills and sometimes uh, chafe at just being called a chair maker because my hand skills have allowed me to make many many other things but rocking chairs is my first love and I love making one-of-a-kind rocking chairs and uh, so here in my workshop I come out here and uh, like my children used to say to their friends when they were asked what kind of work does your daddy do they would look them right in the eye and say our daddy don't work he goes out to his shop and plays and so I come out here every day and when I'm done playing I have something that somebody gives me lots of money for and I kind of like that whole thing you know I enjoy, I enjoy what I do and I enjoy that people love what I do when I when I finish a rocking chair I tell people you know if you really really love this thing as much as I do I might sell it to you so this is a shaving horse and I have made hundreds and hundreds of rocking chairs sitting astride this shaving horse. It has almost become a part of me. Um, this is a draw knife. This draw knife I inherited from my grandfather and uh, love feeling that his hands made things on this before mine. And uh, so this is the way the shaving horse and the draw knife work together. The shaving horse holds the piece of work and the draw knife changes the shape of the wood into what we're wanting it to do for us. I probably finish eight to nine rockers a year. You know, so they can take a month to three months depending on the chair, how much detail is put into the piece and uh, you know how many little additives I concoct to make the chair special.